Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and I just want to apologize for the lack of uploads guys. I apologize. There's not much I can really upload. It's not uh, um, that much news has been going on and for the fact that I also was on vacation for a week. And then when I came back from vacation, I was sick for a whole week. So I was pretty much out of it for the next, for the past two to three weeks from my last video. Obviously, you saw a little other videos, but y'all are here for the multiverses news, for the multiverses content in the future. So if this is your first time watching my video videos, don't forget to subscribe button, guys. And let's get straight into this video. Now, guys, I'm going to have a time skip to where the most important part of the video that y'all want to come for or y'all are here for, which is the that the open beta is coming really really soon there's no date on it yet but we can confirm that we're about to get a date very very soon and again there's gonna be a timestamp to where you can skip to it but before we get into that we're gonna do a quick 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 summary of there's a whole bunch of news that tony's been saying for the past week or two that people don't know about that you know want to learn and again if you haven't been watching other people's um news videos on multiverses then it's gonna be like a quick rundown on my channel real quick so let's get straight into it the first one we have is by jones and pretty much he just asks is will there be a feature where we could just play cpus ais and not have no players in the game tony said yes congratulations for people that don't really like fighting other humans there you go next one um, Jeremy was asking whether it be movie skins for characters and multiverses. Tony said yes, so looks like there's really no copyright to that. It looks like they're able to pull off any skin that they want to from movies, which is amazing. Shout out to Warner Brothers for that. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, my man Fast, and he was like, even though I'm a competitive guy, I also want to play this with friends and family. Do you think it's only for a competitive play or also casual? And Tony said, we have some more casual modes here and more are coming. I'll go for multiverse to support every player. That is amazing, man. Like, even though, like he just said, I am a very competitive player. I'm not the biggest fan or really care for, like, the subtle little stuff like casual players do. But I am also happy that they are supporting them also, you know, because that's how you grow as a community, you know, your competitive players, your casual players, your come and go players, all of them, bro, they all need the support and the reason why they come back in the game, and I'm glad to hear that. Next one, uh, we have my boy Alpha, and Alpha is pretty much asking uh, if you could use mouse inputs, um, you know, keyboard and mouse, instead of just keyboard, and Tony says yes. Confirmed this a while back ago, but you know, just, just a refresher, you know, for people that don't know about it, there you go. Um, next one is from me, and I was just asking, hey, how's the trailers coming along? Tony said, good. When are we getting this? I don't know. Well, let's ignore the fact that Tony ratioed me, all right? Moving on. Um, uh, next one was my boy, um, Big Bubba Bubbles, and pretty much he asked, um, uh, will they sh ensure the extension of Multiverse's lifespan, like, you know, after the release, will they keep on working on the game? And Tony said, yeah, we'll, we'll keep having a lot of content postponed for release, and we'll continue to create content as long as the players like and support what we do. And that's amazing, you know? A lot of games do, you know, drop games and then disappear and, you know, thingy, but it looks like Tony and the team truly wants this to be, like I said, a AAA game, a top-tier game for everyone to enjoy and come back to on the regular. Next one, um, my boy... Balls, and he pretty much said, um, would it be possible for players to vote for who the next character would be? Tony said, probably not the character to come out, but the next character we work on would be really cool. So it looks like Tony might reconsider with the team, or if he can, a way for us, the fans, to choose who comes in next. Maybe they'll have like a list that we could choose from and then who they work on. Because remember, um, how this game works with their characters, I'm gonna say it now because I think I have like another post or two, but I'm gonna say it now to get out of the way. How the characters work in this game is that any character is possible yes they will fight for the for the rights to get these characters in but these characters must have one interest two actual gameplay that they could try to get in and make it unique and fun and three again unique and fun and enjoyable to actually use these characters they can't just put any character in because people want it it has to actually have gameplay behind it also get the rights to it and etc so yeah Next one we have is is and he pretty much was just complimenting Tony about everything and he was talking about um like holiday skins and stuff and Tony confirmed that there will be holiday skins and it'll be exclusive to the holidays so you know make sure you are playing within those weeks or two to get them or buy them or however it works but yeah shout out for that next one we have is Cam and Cam was pretty much talking about like skins you know in Brahalla, like how Brahalla does it and all that stuff. And Tony hit him with, yeah, we're going to have consistent updates of new skins, characters, modes, and maps. It looks like there won't just be, oh, skins and, you know, t 
two, three, four. Well, I mean, I don't know, but I'm just assuming we don't have to wait four or five months down the line. It looks like they are prepping content a little bit after the release to see how the game goes so that they have something to release within a few weeks or maybe one or two months and then, you know, work on other ones while having stuff just on the sideline waiting, you know, to join the, the roster and maps and etc. Right here we have uh, Wesley and he was pretty much asking about are oh, they looking for commentaries for multiverses because you know multiverses is going to have an esports like it's already 100% confirmed and Tony answered and he was like hey I'll contact you to our esports sides and it looks like guys the esports side is growing when it, come, when it comes to commentators TOs and etc man can't wait to see how they start off the start of esports for this game. Um, the next one is my man Sako, and Sako pretty much asks, will there be voices and translation to um, let Latin Spanish? Will there be Echo Fighters? And will there be game modes like basketball and soccer? Tony says, yes, there's going to be multiple languages, as you can see right here. Um, second one, he said, no, you'll understand why once you get your hands on the game. Pretty much, he pretty much, again, news a long, long time ago that there's not going to be Echo Fighters in this game, but there's gonna, they're going to be used in a different way. So we don't know what that is yet, so we'll know in the future. And then third, finally, he said yes, eventually. And that was to, will there be game modes like basketball and soccer? So it looks like Tony and the team is really thinking about a casual and fun way to enjoy this game, even if you don't want to sweat all the time and, you know, fight all the time. You'll actually have some fun side things to do, which is amazing. Moving on, next one is Rondell. And Rondell was asking about, will there be a Founders Edition to this game? And Tony said, yes, weird, I just came out with a meeting discussing this reveal soonish. Remember, this is, this is a free-to-play game. I didn't think there was going to be a Founder Edition. Now I got to go buy the Founder Edition when it drops. <laughs> but it most likely is going to be like maybe something that, that allows you to get all the characters and future characters and maybe a skin or two and, you know, whatever the currency, the game, the in-game is. Probably a couple of that too. Could be, don't know, just assuming. But yeah. Uh, next one is um, Jojo, and he was asking, um, wondering does multiverses have voice chat? And Tony confirms, at least right now, he said it currently doesn't. He said there's a lot of trade off uh, with having it, and they best believe that it's better just to use third parties, you know, Discord and stuff. Um, hopefully, they do have like a little chat so you could talk to people, you know, like how Brawlhalla does, you know, just a little chat to if you find someone interesting or someone cool, you're like, oh yeah, let me add you up. And then, you know, you all become friends on the side and whatever platform you use, Discord, PlayStation, Xbox, all that stuff. That'd be awesome. Um, I man, Roto, Rotmo, and he was pretty much saying, uh, was wondering if people have to pay to take an advantage because it's a free-to-play game. And again, this is already confirmed back then, but if you're new, um, no, there is no money advantage in this game. Perks can only be earned by playing the game, so you have to play the game to earn your perks. They cannot be purchased, so there's no advantage in paying at all. Um, and all the characters can be earned by playing, but you can purchase the characters earlier if you want to. So, for example, you know, there's going to be X amount of people unlock, and then there's going to be unlock, there's going to be lock characters, and how to unlock them is just by playing the game, earning coins for it, and then unlocking them. But if you're impatient, then I guess the advantage is that you could buy them, but that's how all free to game plays are. You know, if you play it, you earn them, or you pay for them earlier. No difference. The only thing is you're gonna get it earlier than somebody, but again, that doesn't make any difference in gameplay wise. Um, next question is by my man Waffle, and Waffle said Multiverse is gonna have some kind of loop box as in like random skin box and tony said currently there is not and i think that is good in my honest opinion i feel like if you have skins put it out there let people buy the skins they want don't do the whole hey you could get this skin you could get this skin damn you didn't get it it's okay you can't get duplicates but just buy more until you accumulated all of them and hopefully get the skin that you want nah for consumers let us buy our skins you know I get that some people do enjoy it because it is fun, I ain't gonna lie, but for the fact that it costs money, I don't know about that one. Next one is by Parker, and Parker um, was talking about like Rage Quit and people that, you know, put out games and all that stuff, and Tony was pretty much said there will be consequences and punishments for those, um, but he doesn't want to make it too harsh for the fact that, you know, some people do have internet issues and the people do lag out or, you know, random connection or power out, you know, all that stuff happens. So, you know, it won't be nothing too crazy, but you definitely can see that there will be punishments for leaving games and stuff. So that's good to know. Um, same thing again with the whole punishment reporting stuff, you know, issues, 
you know people that says words that they shouldn't be saying again all that's gonna be in the play and then he also brings up the whole internet out thing that could be possible um next one is matus said matus was talking about um again he was just appreciating the hard work that tony and them the team is doing and then he said will there be perks that change how the moves actually work like for example like battering explosive and then something like that into something different and tony said yes so Tony confirmed that these perks are gonna allow you to change different moveset, which is amazing. It gives unique and different energy when it comes to the game. Because one, one you have characters that makes you know the gameplay different. Now you have perks that um are you know different, and then also changes your moveset. So it's gonna keep the game refreshing. You know, you're not gonna see one character and be like, oh, he's running this perk. Okay, obviously there's gonna be a majority popular perks, but for the fact that you could change it around and change it up is going to be amazing and cool to see uh, what people will come up with. Um, the next one is by Parker once again and he was asking will there be dialogue um, interactions between characters for example Batman versus Harley or Shaggy or versus Velma and Tony said yes yeah, lots of fun dialogue um, in the game you know when they're talking to people that ne they never met before which is pretty cool can't wait to see that and then the final question the best way to end this off for people that are in doubt for this game dropping in 2022 is by way crypto and crypto is pretty much asking um is the game still going to release or has it been pushed back and tony confirmed we have announced the release date on 2022 no month no date and the game has not been delayed so that's amazing to hear and now finally for what y'all have been waiting for apologies for this long video like i said i, I had to play catch up but guys the multiverses open beta is looking like it's coming very 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 soon and why i say that is if you go to the multiverses well okay it's not multiverses but if you go to steam db info it pretty much tells you and how games updates and all that stuff and as you can see right now recently multiverses tech test has just been put into public alpha staging and some of y'all probably saying what does that mean well if you look back here Actually, let's go all the way back to their first tweet on December 9th is when they announced that the playtest is going to be happening tomorrow. And that same time is when they um, posted this. Public alpha staging, as in the date of when the playtest is starting, which was the next day. You know, the next day is when it opened up and stuff. But yeah, right? So that's the first time they used public alpha staging. Now if we go to the second time they use alpha um the um alpha public alpha staging is on the 20th. So right here, February 18th is when they announce again the second playtest and you know the dates and stuff. And two days later is when they well obviously they, they announced it before they put it in. Makes it a little bit different. But again, public alpha staging. Once again, they Put it out there and then the playtest you know the second playtest happened now finally we didn't get a tweet yet but we're seeing this for the third time finally public alpha staging so i don't want to say i told y'all so or that you know I, my prediction on may was correct but we can expect the playtest in may and again if somehow some crazy reason that it doesn't happen to me then i promise you it's happening in june do i know that for a fact no but i'm almost um certain that it'll be one of those months but i'm like pretty confident with me now because of this um change that they did in their um coding when it comes to the whole steam thing and that's it for the video guys leave a like if you like the video yeah i know i love 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 your comments so don't forget to drop that comments down below i love replying back to y'all man and again, it's your first time ever watching one of my videos and you love the multiverses news and you want to see future content. I'm talking about like tips and tricks, fun videos, competitive videos. This is the channel for you. Hit the subscribe button, guys. And I'll also be letting y'all know when I go live, when the open beta happens and all that stuff to give y'all all the tips in the world for y'all to get a nice advantage to catch up with everyone else that's been playing the playtest, you know, when it was out. And that's it for the video, guys. I'm out. Peace. And yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.